Remember, she comes every year. The thunder face look familiar? Yeah. She comes every year. And God had already told me to do this, but I didn't tell you because I know if I told you, it would have been a struggle. But this is my friend. She took me in when I was homeless. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been homeless. Mm -hmm. See, some of y'all too, too, you know, I don't know, you're too proud to tell it. But I've been homeless. I have nothing. I'm going to say it, no thing, homeless, but she took me in. I mean, no, God, I have people positioned at the right place, at the right, and I was cuckoo. Y'all for cocoa, but I was cuckoo for real. I'm talking about me. You can't get mad because I'm telling my testimony. Now, what you going to do? I'm talking about me. But God used her. She's my angel. Took me in, ministered to me, fed me, and my son. Not just me. No, a lot of friends don't take you and your children in. But they like, oh, that's baggage. But she took us in, fed us. I don't want to say anything about clothes. I mean, she just helped us. She was my co-worker, too, so she even watched over me on the job. Because I was, I was messed up, y'all. I was really messed up. What you see now is this is what God did. Yes, God. And I'm telling somebody, he's still working on me. Working. I'm telling me, just say he's still working on her. This, this year, don't make me give you a mic so you can help me tell this story. But it was Easter week, and I was, y'all know, 4.30, where was I at? Oh, y'all don't know me. I was on my treadmill. Come on, y'all. Y'all think I'm lying, Brianna? What you eat? Yeah, yeah, I wake her up. And I was on the treadmill and just running and worshiping. And I get a, I look at my phone, my phone is ringing. I'm like, wait, who's calling me at 4.30? Or ish, or so. I looked and it said Louise. And I'm like, uh oh, what's wrong? She called and she, I answered. And I, I'm, you know, I'm like, hey, yeah, come on. You know, <laughs> panting, breathing, panting, breathing. I said, what's going on? She said, Renee. I don't even know how all the story went because I was broke down by the time. But long story short, they were about to wheel her into surgery. They were about to take her into surgery. She had had how many? Three, four, many heart attacks. She had been experiencing chest pain. And let me show y'all, when you're connected to people in the spirit, because about two or three weeks prior to her calling me, I was picking her up so heavy. Anybody ever get like that? You just, people just be on you so yeah. heavy. And I kept telling the apostle, I said, I gotta call Louise, I gotta call Louise, I gotta call Louise, and I never got around to calling Louise. But she, I was picking her up because she was going through, she was having these little chest pains, didn't know what they were, so she was just going on about her business. But when she got to the doctor, they said, we gonna have to do emergency mm. surgery. Oh, we gotta do this right away. And what was it, what was, what surgery? A quadruple bypass. I'm gonna say that again. Y'all know what quadruple means? Somebody say four. So they had to do a quadruple bypass, and that's hard. And when she called me, and I'm on the treadmill, and I'm, I'm mad, because I'm like, you just telling me? This is normally three of them, you know, they we finally got Sister Lily to come on down. And by the way, y'all, she got a visitor car. Y'all, you know, the, the, out, the missionaries, the outreach people, she got a car all the way in Maryland. But Miss Louise said she didn't get one. She didn't know why. I said, because that's progress. See, when you first started coming, we didn't have that up and running. Now it's up and running. See, now you see how efficient that is. See, praise the Lord. Everybody shout progress. progress. We are progressive over here in the kingdom dimension. But I just wanted to show y'all a walking miracle. She made it through the surgery. God took her through, amen. And she's here, that's 
people like somebody. You don't have to know people to, to praise God for them. Y'all, because I mean, no, it could have been the other way. She couldn't die. Anybody in the, anybody just in the, in the I know. Y'all, I know you can relate. Because if you're in that nursing field or profession, that's, that's very, very, very risky. But God took her through. But God took her through. And she's here this time again this year. She comes every September. So Y'all might as well get used to her. She got a church home, but you know, this weekend, you know, she here with us. Amen. But I just wanted to just celebrate God for my friend. I'm being able to even hold her hand to touch her. Because when I got the car, I, I got off the treadmill and I was in tears, y'all. And I really wanted to get in my car and go right away, but I didn't know where I was going. She didn't tell me the hospital. But she said, I'll make sure you know when I get out of surgery. And her one and only son, as soon as she got, he must have had everybody on speed, text or whatever. Because as soon as she got out, he said, she made it through. She's in recovery. Yeah. And Louise, I just wanted you to just show yourself off today to the glory of God. Because it was God who did that thing, brought you through. And now you got to live on purpose because there's still more for you to do. Amen. Come on, give Miss Louise a hand. See, now she won't get me so mad. Because I don't talk to you. Partner interruption. I'm just going to borrow that from them. Partner interruption. But we don't apologize for the interruption. Matthew 25. Prophet Raymond, get your mic, sir. Are you reading from the King James? And he'll start reading at verse 14. I'm a man traveling into a far country. Yes, who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one. Yes. To every man according to his several abilities. Listen, according to his several abilities. And straightway took his journey. He left. Come on now. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same, and made them other five talents. Made them other five. Uh-huh. And likewise... He that had received two, he also gained other two. Yes. He gained two more. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. My Lord. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, mm -hmm. saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. And look what I did, Lord. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. Five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thy good and faithful servant. Well done. Be careful how you despise the little things. Because if God see you can be faithful over a little, yes. how many know he'll make us ruler? How many more want more? Yes. Raise your hand. You want more? Amen. Amen. But look at your name and say, God is watching you. God is watching you. He's watching from afar to see how faithful yes. you're going to be with the little. Yes, sir. So I stop by today and tell somebody, stop complaining, murmuring yes. about what you don't have. Come on now. And be a faithful steward over what you yes. Beware of the spirit of jealousy. Yes. Because nowhere in the text did we see that the one with two said, well, I got mad because you gave that one more than you gave me. Wow. It's a lot of that going around, but I'm just coming to encourage us today. Stop looking at what other people have, wanting what they have. Because the scripture said that this, this master gave according to the ability. Come on now. Can you handle what your neighbor has? Come on now. Wow. Can you handle it? Read, sir. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hard man. Ah, here come the lazy one, bunch of excuses. Reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strawed. Mm -hmm. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Stop hiding your stuff. Come on now. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked, wicked and slothful slow. servant. Yes, wicked and lazy. That's what slothful means. Uh -huh. Lazy. Come on, y'all. Beware of the spirit of laziness. Yeah. Come on, in the kingdom, we must.
must be productive citizens. Yeah. Everybody, let's, let's just say, I am, I am. a productive kingdom, kingdom citizen. citizen. I, rebuke I rebuke the spirit, the spirit of, laziness. of laziness. Go ahead, because I don't want to be called wicked Amen. and slothful. Amen. Thou knewest that I reap where I not uh, where I sowed not, uh -huh. and gathered where I have not straw. Uh -huh. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchanges. At least you could have put it in a bank and let it draw some interest. Go to thirty. And cast she the unprofitable servant. Listen. Into outer darkness. Outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. In the word of the Lord is so. You can be seated. I just want to release to y'all. Don't stop being faithful. In the parable, we don't have time to go through it all. I just wanted to kind of give you the quick and short version. In the parable, we see this. In, in, in the earlier part of that, that text, it's talking about the five wise and the five foolish. Anybody still got their Bible open? Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It starts talking about that. But then it goes down to this familiar parable of the talents. And we see in this parable, we see three servants that were given talents. They were given something that did not belong to them. How many know y'all what we have really don't belong to us? Right. We drive cars, we drive homes, they have our names on them. But if you stop being faithful, you will quickly find out it's really not yours. You have the deed, you have until you finish paying on it. Come on now. It is not yours. That's in the natural. But in the spirit, really, it's never ours for real. It all belongs to God. Can, can y'all get with that? Mm -hmm. Can anybody go with that and not be upset? That what I have is really, God has allowed me to be a steward yes. over it. But really, it belongs to somebody else. And so in this parable, we see that there were good and faithful servants. I want to be in that category. But then there, were all, there was also a wicked and lazy. Could it be possible that in our midst there are wicked and lazy servants? So I just wanted to release to us that God is requiring, if anybody's taking notes, I'm not whooping and hollering or speaking in tongues so you can't hear me. You don't, have, you don't need an interpreter. But God is requiring faithfulness. Yes. Come on, can everybody say that? Yes. God is requiring faithfulness. He's requiring, do you really believe that? He is requiring faithfulness. Now the tricky thing about faithfulness, because I'm going to tell y'all in a minute what faithfulness means, but the, the interesting thing about faithfulness is sometimes it can be predicated on our circumstances. Well, oh, wow. Can anybody be honest and go with me today? Mm -hmm. That sometimes we are more faithful, help me hold the ghost, when things are more favorable. Mm -hmm. Come on, if you can't say amen, amen, just say ouch. And if you're excited about that, say ouch hallelujah. Yeah, because God, you, you got me, but I praise him because you're chasing those whom you love. But sometimes it gets, it gets tight to us in the flesh, in the desires to be faithful when we feel like I, I just shouldn't have to be. But, 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 but I just want to correct that for us today, that no matter what may be going on in your life, I'm, I'm speaking plain, no matter what may be going on in your life, God is still requiring faithfulness. Yeah. Put a leave slip in for it. There's no a certain allocated amount of days, Minister John, that you can call in from being faithful. Mm -hmm. But God is requiring faithfulness while he's not around. Yes, yes. I gave an example of my husband was in the military and he used to go on TDYs like, you know, four months at a time. And I 
was charged because I was in covenant with that man. This is going to bless somebody. To remain faithful. Yes. Can I talk to y'all like we adults? Amen. And it'll be all right. Amen. I'm not going to get it listed, I promise. But although needs were still lingering. Come on now. Make it plain. There was an obligation from me yes. as a wife and him as a husband to remain faithful. Yes, yes. No excuses. None. I couldn't say, well, you know, it was getting lonely at night. So I had to check out something that could hold me. Could it be? Thank you, Father. Could it be that some of us have a twisted spiritual mentality wow. when it comes to our faithfulness to God? Who in this room wants to be in a relationship, any kind of relationship, where people are cheating on you? Wow. Stand if you, if you would. Uh. Nobody? I can't get one? Hmm. Really? So if you don't want people, keep up with me, y'all. If you don't want folks to be unfaithful to you, come on now. What do you think God is expecting from oh, us? Yeah. But think of a time when somebody wasn't faithful to you. Mm. Don't nobody get mad. I ain't. I don't break out no brass knuckles. Don't start fighting. <laughs> but just think about a time where you were expecting. Uh oh, you were expecting somebody to be faithful. Wow. You just knew it. You counted on it. Wow. Somebody said, you know, I saw someone so, so No, you didn't. No, uh I know they weren't there. Wow. You stood toe to toe only to discover it was that person. They did violate you. So imagine how you felt and imagine how the heart of God grieves. Come on, come on, come on, come on, y'all. Can you, can, you, can you watch me for maybe another 20 minutes? Imagine how the heart of God feels after all he does from us day after day. I couldn't do it because of I, 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 I beg to differ that there is no reasonable excuse we can ever Think, just think about how good God been to you. Just think about it, right? Just think about it. Not last week, not two years ago, not, but this morning. Wow. Just think about how it could have been you. <laughs> just think about his new mercy. Just think about how it really wasn't your alarm clock that woke you up. Man. Just think about how, how many times you pushed the snooze on your alarm clock. So we know it really wasn't your alarm clock. Just think about how many doors God has opened. You know what? I, I, I'm giving the devil another black eye. Maybe some of his imps. Because some of y'all are feeling like, well, Apostle, you don't understand. My situation is not favorable right now. You know, I would do, but there will be need at a come. And say, but Lord, Lord, we cast out demons in your name. We fed the hungry. We, we did all this. And he's going to say, depart from me, ye workers of Iniquity. Watch this. I never knew you. Now, if anybody knows anything about the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, when it referred to, you know, Abraham knew Sarah. Y'all, y'all do know what that means, right? That's 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 denoting intimacy. The Bible was so clean and wholesome. He knew what his wife looked like. Are we in such an intimate relationship with God that we know what He looks like? Come on, do, do we really know that even when my situation is not favorable because I know my God's going to show up, that I remain faithful to him because I know he's right. Stay with me. Yeah. Haven't I been good to you? Yeah. Ha, haven't okay. I, oh, haven't okay. I been good to you? Yeah. Haven't I been the Jehovah Jireh, the Jehovah Nisi, the Jehovah Rapha, the Jehovah all? Oh, haven't I been all oh, that?
day where you had to compare yourself and say, but no, I'm better than that. But they can do that. No, I can do better than that. Can't you see, imagine God saying, don't go to that stuff because I'm better than that. Ah, you don't have to try that because guess what? I'll give you a high that's, that's a healthy high. Yes. Is there such thing as a healthy high? Yes. Sure it is in the Holy Ghost. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the only drunk that you can really get. <laughs> and afterwards, it won't destroy your liver. You won't have bad breath. Or what somebody say? It won't destroy your character. Who said that? People won't be, when you walk through the room, people won't be like, do you know what you did when you was drunk? Don't it feel good to be drunk in, in the Holy Ghost? And, and all people can say, you know, we, we teach each other around here. After, you know, service, be like, oh, you had carpet ministry today. <laughs> Boy, that carpet. Let me see if it's a dent in that. Whoa. We're going to have to repair the carpet. But isn't that better than somebody saying, oof, your reputation is gone now. Yeah, you were saying on the door. My, my balls are all because if you could have been with me some years back, I would have been ashamed of what you were mocking. Come on out, y'all. Come on out. I would have been ashamed of how you would have been imitating me. Because it wasn't exactly good. But I'm excited now when I see somebody like, you do like this, you do like, yeah, what I do, what I do. <laughs> you fell out. Yeah, what? Well, show me how I fell out. Because I'm excited about this high because I serve a faithful God. with his stuff. Ah, come on. The first two he could trust. Because what happened? They doubled theirs. They went out and they did something with what they were giving. They did something with their talent. Do you know some of y'all in here are hiding your talents? Because you don't want people to know what you can do? Because you feel like people going to use you if they know what you can do? I don't want to show my talent. Because, yeah, well, I ain't going to talk about the lazy people just yet. But some of us aren't necessarily lazy, but we've been used before. So now we don't want to expose because we feel like you're going to get used again. You need to be delivered. Because we should never put being used in front of the minister to your neighbor and say, people only do to you what you allow. So when I hear people, you know, being real pretty upset about, you know, they did this and they did that and that. Really what I want to say is, you allowed it. Wow. Did, that, did that come in somebody's living room and sit down with them? Because yeah, it, there is a certain level of, of control we have over that. You allowed that. So if people talk to you any kind of way and you don't ever stop, hey, be you, be you, be you, be you, this, you, that, you, that. Uh, no. Because I didn't shut it down. And you know, some people think getting called those names is cute. Girl, he just like me. If he like you, why would he be calling you bees? Come on now, come on, make it play. Come on. Right on this now, third, sir. When the master came back, what'd he say? He said, yeah, because I knew you were a hard task master. So on where you didn't read, read where you didn't so I knew, I knew, I knew. Somebody say excuses. 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 Let's say no more. Forgiveness. forgiveness. Somebody just needed that. That thing got hard in the atmosphere. Somebody just needed that. Forgiveness, forgiveness. is automatic. It's automatic. But trust, trust is like a paycheck. Like a paycheck. It, must be earned. it must be earned. Come on, does that help you? Because some people will, will try to guilt trip you and say, you didn't, you ain't forgave me. Yes, I do, boo. I forgive you all the way. But now, do I trust you? And I got Bible to back it up. Because when he came to that unfaithful, wicked servant, what did he do? He said, take his away from him. Take his talent away and give it to somebody else that I know going to do right with it. See, some of y'all keep giving all y'all stuff away to people that's not going to do right by you. We need to hear this. Yes, ma'am. You're going to have to show me. Yes. Come on. You're going to have to. You're going to have to. Because a snake is a snake. Yes. Come on. And them spirits are spirits. Yes. But I, I'm going to 
son, no, 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 stop playing them spirits of spirit. Yes. Until, until you see true deliverance. Yes. But see, you gotta know what true deliverance looks like. Because yes. the enemy can transform himself, yes. the scripture said, into an angel of, y'all read it. Come on, come on. And if you are silly, ah. come on now. The Bible says, yeah, that's why I ain't say silly women, but I said if you are silly, uh -huh. meaning if you are not in the spirit, uh -huh. you, that we'll be calling evil good uh -huh. and good evil. Right. Right. Yes, yes. But they're a good person. Well, we right now, they're, we talk about their person. Mm -hmm. Allie, we talking about what's in operation. Uh -huh. And what you need to guard yourself yeah. from. Yeah. Come on, I'm working on a message. I'll give y'all a preview, but I'm working on a message called Take It All. Mm -hmm. It's coming to a church near you. Is our faithfulness around the clock? Are we faithful to God when we're on vacation? Are we faithful to him when we're on the beach? Are we faithful to him when we're cruising? Are we faithful to him when we're, you know, somewhere that we don't think? But what I found out, y'all, is God got people everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. I've been people, and normally if I'm with my husband, it seems like every time we go somewhere, he's going to always run into somebody that he know. Mm -hmm. Like, man, we can't we go to Timbuktu with somebody there. <laughs> all the way, all the way. He started with the pit. Y'all remember that? He told some dreams. Be careful how you tell your dreams, y'all. Be careful who you tell your dreams to. He told his dream to his family. Right. And guess what? They interpreted. Uh -huh. And they understood that his dream meant that they were going to be bowing down. Uh -huh. they, couldn't, they couldn't stand him already because his father gave him the coat. Even I mean, come he said, this man somehow got promoted. Yes. Watch out. Favor. Favor. All right. So he got promoted. In, in slavery, he got promoted. Potiphar's house. Y'all remember Potiphar's house? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got up in there. An unfaithful wife was in the house. Yeah. I'm just telling, I'm paraphrasing, I'm telling y'all this story. This woman saw something that she thought was good for her husband, though. She tried to. No. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Joseph. But how many know? Nobody was looking. That's right. That's right. Watch this. I'm going to help y'all out. Nobody was looking. Y'all really think nobody was looking? Nobody was looking but God. Because he served the God, the faithful God, yeah. even behind closed doors with this woman. I mean, no, y'all, that's a, that's a warning for brothers. Brothers, single and married. Just because people throwing themselves at you don't mean you got to take it. Right. You have women that are throwing themselves at you. Remain faithful. Don't say, well, I couldn't resist it. Joseph resisted. Yeah. Joseph ran to the point that he left. Didn't, didn't he leave his coat there? Uh -huh. yeah. And guess what? Did old girl have proof? So she got mad. Now people will get mad at you because you turned them down. Right. Why I come for anything? People will get mad when you turn them down. Yeah. Then they'll start putting your stuff out there. Uh -huh. Then they'll start lying on you. Uh -huh. You were not there anyway. Well, why was you after me then? Uh -huh. See, if I wasn't all that, uh -huh. then why was you, you know, on me? See, I'm trying to help some of y'all, because some of y'all are weak when it comes to standing up against the enemy and his tactics. And then you want to be in the office talking about, you know, uh, no! We've been fighting, we can we inside. When we say power, when the power ought to do more than just make you... I say, Joseph remained faithful. She had to cope. What did she do? She accused that brother. He tried to come in with me. He tried to know me, liar. But guess what? Joseph ended right back. You just think you 
you're just gonna keep us going on this grace of God, talking about we under grace. Wow. <laughs> you under grace, but grace is not your permission slip to sin. Right. 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 I just wanted to drop that on y'all. Drop that like that was hot. Because <laughs> we all have our permission slip. Come on now. That is not our library card right. to say I can sin and then I'll just run back. Yeah. Stop misusing grace. They kept their hands clean. They kept their hearts pure. They kept their mouth right. They hung with the right people. Because they were ready. They were expecting the return. Come on, are you expecting the return? Or do you think the master's never going to come back to get his stuff? But the five foolish, they was... Give a groove on. Give a groove on. I ain't lost it. Expiration day. All my trials got a time limit. My stuff got to be up. And I'm going to remain faithful. Because I know that he that shall come, he will come. And he's going to not tarry long. See, some of y'all better remain faithful. One day with God is as a thousand. And a thousand is as one day. And you talking about I've been waiting for ten years. Well, get out your flesh and get in the spirit and realize, really, that's only been five minutes. <laughs> Because yes. I'm like, ooh, I got a whole day to go. I got a whole long, lot of hours to go before I can get to one day. How am I going to stop being faithful to God go just because? Y'all got to realize this stuff don't last always. Your situation, encourage your neighbor. Y'all wake up, I'm finished. Encourage your neighbor. Say, it's not going to last always. It's not going to be this way always. Don't give up on God now. Don't start giving the way you could. Come on, y'all ain't talking to nobody, right? Come on, tell them, do it. I said, don't do it. Don't slip. Don't. Talking to nobody, you being disobedient. Tell them it's going to change if you just study and read your book. Tell somebody your, your grade's going to change. Do your part. Joy, come in the morning. Come on. If you would start looking at the joy that's about to come, then the enemy will stop tripping you up. Remain faithful. Come on, get into your spirit. Expiration day. on faith is that God's going to do everything and I just sit back and chillax. You're not in partnership. You got a usury spirit. If you think God's going to do everything and you do nothing, guess what? Joseph was promoted because he was the one with the goods. Do you know you got the good? And because you won't really see that your good is good, Don't fly away. I just, I just see you flying in the spirit. Don't fly away. But you gotta know that your goods are good. You gotta know that your goods are good. I'm valuable to the kingdom. Yeah. I'm valuable to the kingdom. And because I'm valuable, guess what, y'all? If Joseph would have gave in, God would not have been able to use him to feed an entire nation of people. Wow. Look at what you could be forfeiting because you decide to be unfaithful. You could be the leader extraordinary. And Joseph, because he was faithful, was elevated 
to the governor. He was under the pharaoh. Yes. And because they trusted him, right? Because he was faithful when nobody was looking, they put him over charge of everything. Can I say it in, in the best advice I can? Everything. Food, money, supplies. He even had to feed the very people that put him in the pit. What an honor. What a privilege to be able to serve my haters. Come on, haters. I'm just so happy because you're going to be able to tell somebody, fear not, I didn't come to beat you up. I came to bless you because I stood the test of time. Now God's going to use me. Is anybody excited about God using me? Are you, are you hiding your talent? Because you don't, to whom much is given, much is required. See, that's what the problem is. Some of y'all don't want to be required nothing. Peekaboo, I see you. Come on. Yeah. Joseph had an awesome responsibility. Dishing out all the food, making sure everybody got fed. Management is hard work, y'all. If you want money, you get $50 Monday. It's gone by Tuesday. And you can't even say where it went. And you want more. Really, Dad? Yeah. So today, y'all, don't stop being faithful. Because a promotion is coming for your faithfulness. Yeah. What did he say at the end? He said, well done. well done. Thy good and faithful servant. Enter in to the joy of the Lord. Y'all want joy? Yeah. Faithfulness produces joy. Yeah. Come on, everybody say that. Faithfulness so if I remain faithful, y'all get this? I'm happy to be home. Remain faithful. And faithfulness is an everyday decision. It's an everyday decision. Because I mean, no, y'all, we can wake up and be like, in your mind, it gets hard. I'm not, I'm not downplaying that our trials don't get hard, okay? I promise I'm not. But I'm telling you, we serve a mighty God yeah. that will make what's hard yeah. easy. Now, that's grace. Yeah. He told Paul, he said, I ain't taking this thorn away because that's what's keeping you humble. Yeah. But he said, my grace my is sufficient. Yeah. He said, my strength is made perfect. You want to see God be perfect in your life? It's through your weakness. Because yes. he said, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Yes. Then I'm in Romans 5 where he said, we glory in our tribulation. Yes. Knowing this, that tribulation, working, experience, experience, working, patience, patience, Romans 8, 28, for we know, for we know, some of y'all ain't fully persuaded yet, for I am persuaded that nothing shall be able to separate me from the faithful God, from the love of God.